Hey everyone, uh, Brian here. I just wanted to show you some really useful programs that I like to use when I'm tutoring math. And I think a lot of teachers out there would find really useful as well. So the first thing I use almost every single day is uh, OneNote here. OneNote is great for tutoring one-on-one -on -one with students. It's great for giving lectures to students in class as there's a lot of things that it can definitely do. So real quickly here, one of the best things about OneNote is this customizable tool toolbar at the top here. So you can have different colors of pens and highlighters that you can quickly just access with one touch no matter what page you are on and just continue going through your notes. So as you can see here, you have the ability to write all over the screen. Um, so this makes it really good if you're going to be using this for um, math class and you want to simply show different steps using different colors. It's very simple to do in this case. So as we go through this here, I'm just going to touch on some of my favorite features of this. There's a few other programs I want to show you as well. Um, so right at the beginning here, we talked about the toolbar. There's also different things you can do with this. Uh, let's say you wanted to record your entire lesson. Well, now I put this audio recording here and it's actually recording me as we speak right now as you can see right here this is going up seven eight um, and I can play this back later so if there's a student who misses the class he can have the entire audio recording of the class right here in front of him or her uh, and then you can simply stop it there and play it back when you want so going back to this insert tab, there's a few other things you can do. Um, great thing about OneNote, it's very easy to stay organized. So if you have multiple classes, maybe this is for period one and maybe the next class, period two, there's a video you wanted to show your class right from the start. So you'd simply click an online video, you type in the address, we click OK here, and there you go. The video is inserted right into your lecture. So you can play this video and as the video is playing, if you want, you can simply take notes on the side, um, jot different things down, or say pay attention at uh, maybe 122 of the video or whatever it might be. Okay, um, you can leave different notes for students right, to go, so, um, and you can listen as you go through. You can make the screen full screen if you want. You can leave it there. You know, there's a lot of just different things. Um, also, if you're a math teacher, maybe you want to add equations in. So just like with Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel, you can easily add in equations to um, OneNote here by simply just typing them in. You have all your tools available um, to you right here. So if I want to put like Y equals, I want to say X raised to the third power or something like that, I can simply just go, okay, X to the third, and it will have it typed in here. And then obviously, you can change the size, make it more readable, and move it around wherever you like. Um, so that's pretty much all I want to touch with the insert here. Is obviously, the draw, you can change your colors, highlight different things, which we were doing before. Okay. Um, review, that's really not too much view. There is some cool things you can do with view here. Um, I use this a lot to change the paper, so sometimes I'm going to want to write with ruled lines here just to stay a little bit more organized, so I'll do that a lot, so just to keep my handwriting, uh, you know, in check, okay. Um, another thing you do for math teachers especially is graphing, so you might do a lot of graphing in class, you can easily pull up graph paper and uh, demonstrate this to your students how to do this. There is going to be another program I'm going to show you that uses graphing a lot differently here and is actually really cool. But there are some other really key features for OneNote that I just want to talk about. So let's say you're working in real time and there's a PDF and you want to work with like the first question there. There's a screen tip clipping tool which you can lock at the bottom here and as soon as you click on it, you simply just highlight everything that you want to collect and put into your uh, program and it will put it right in there. So now we can start just writing all over the screen here. So B plus two equals G. And now you can say things, you know, like let B equal three, then G would have to be five. And you can continue on. You can highlight different parts of the problem, whatever it might be. So this is a really useful tool to bring in 
things from different PDFs. If you saw something on the web you want to copy over, you can easily insert that into your document here as well. So finally, the best thing about this too is after you're done with your lecture, you've been showing this to every student in your class, you could simply save this entire thing either as a OneNote file or um, what I think is a little better is you can export the entire section or the entire notebook even as a PDF. And this is what I find really useful. Um, if a student misses class or something, you simply just save the entire lesson from today as a PDF file and can simply email it to the student or maybe upload it to the classroom drive that you have for all students to access at a later time. So that's one note. That's some of the key features there that are really good. Um, another great program that I'm going to recommend for all math teachers out there is Fluid Math. Now there is an app version of this or you can simply use the online version. Um, you do have to pay for this one. I don't remember what the exact pricing is. Um, but I will show you a few cool few things you can do with this. It's very easy to graph things using uh, Fluid Math. So if I wanted to graph the line y equals x, I simply just draw it there and pull it up and I have y equals x. And if I wanted to add another thing, like maybe I want to add y equals x squared, and I want to show what that looks like on the same graph, I can also just drag that over and put it on a separate screen like this. Or if I want to add it to the same thing, I just can add it there as well. You can also create these things called sliders, where if I put like a plus b here, I can say, well, let's say like b was 1 right now, and it will change that b value to 1. Or you can change it to a slider, which I'll do in this case. Oh, let me erase this. So if we had b equals 1, if I simply just drag this down a little bit, it creates a slider, and I can show what happens to my graph as that value of b changes. Now you can leave it as discrete values, or you can make continuous values to show what happens at any real number, or any real y value here, or y intercept, I should say. Um, so that's one cool thing. Another great thing about this is you can store different sheets that you've already created for different lessons. So for example, like if I go to my docs here, I saved one earlier. Um, I saved the sine curve. So anytime I open this, this is what the starting screen will be like. So it's pre-created and now I can show with my sliders exactly what happens as I adjust the A value there, the B value here, or the C value. And it you know, demonstrates what happens to the graph there. So it's really cool. Students love this. It's a great visual. It makes things a lot easier, a lot faster, um, you know, than doing everything out on a whiteboard or a chalkboard in the classroom. They also have tools where they come with a bunch of things that are pre-stored here. So if I open up the gallery in this case, I can leave this page, and they'll have some lessons already on here for us. So let's say I wanted to do something like polar equations. I'll just click on the polar equations one here. And it demonstrates this. With the sliders already intact, I can show what happens as I adjust you know, each slider in this case. So pretty cool stuff. Um, and I find this program to be really useful for any kind of graphing application. And again, I can simply take this, if I like that graph there, I can simply just take that graph and send it right back to um, OneNote. I can either copy it and add it as a new page or send it directly there. And here it is. And again, now I can just you know continue to write my notes, insert it into my document, continue with my lectures, um, whatever that might be. And I didn't touch on this before, but another great thing about OneNote is it never ends. So if I want to bring stuff over, I can just keep scrolling to the right here and write some more. And I can go any direction, up, down, I can zoom in, zoom out, so I bring all my notes back on the same page. So it's very free range where you can go all over the place, which is really nice um, for OneNote here. So another great graphing tool that's good for visualizations, especially the kind in the three dimensions, is WinPlot. So here's WinPlot here. I'm gonna go ahead and create um, a two-dimensional graph, and I'm going to go ahead and just graph the equation. Let's just say f of x equals x, and make this a little bit thicker here. So it graphs the line for me here. I can see it now. Although this isn't very special, there is a lot you can do with this. So if I go to 1 here, I can do things like revolve the surface. 
So let's say I wanted to revolve the surface from negative 2 to positive 2. Well, if I click see the arc, I can see what's going to be revolving here. And let's revolve it around the y-axis. So I want to know what would happen if I revolve this line from negative 2 to positive 2 about the y-axis. Well, I can click see the surface here, and it will show me the three-dimensional figure that gets created. So this is the shape that would be created if I was re Revolving, or, uh, revolving this line around that y-axis. And you know, you can obviously tilt it so you can see what kind of shape it is for the students. Um, it's just another great program to give an actual visual demonstration to students as many students are visual learners. Um, so this is a great tool. And obviously, there's a bunch of other things you can do with this. Um, you know, one thing I recommend is just kind of play around with it if you want. You can insert even another equation on here if I want to put again, you know, x squared or something and maybe I'll make that a different color like blue. Okay, so I can put that on here. You can revolve the uh, surface or in the area in between the two curves there. There's a lot of different things you can do, but my favorite is the visual demonstration for this. Okay, finally, the last thing I want to talk about here is uh, called Wabbit Emu, which is just a TI-84 calculator here. It's um, an emulator. Obviously, you can get other ones like the 89, or I'm sure the Inspire is probably even out there somewhere. Um, whatever calculator you might be using in your classroom, uh, I deal with the TI-84 a lot. And this is great because I can simply pull this up right on my screen and, you know, give a visual demonstration to my class, you know, live. So I can simply type things in if I just want to say, okay, let's teach them how to, you know, I don't know, take the ln, we click the ln of 2, see what that value is, get that value here. If I want to do a whole lesson on matrices, I can show them how to use the matrix in the calculator. If you want to simply just graph something, you can create a, you know, an equation, 1 half x plus 3, and go ahead and graph it and show the students, you know, how to enter things into the calculator. I think it's a really useful tool, especially when you're learning the calculator and uh, all students might not know where something is. It's very easy to point out, you know, like where the catalog is and how you get second and then catalog to get there. Um, so there's a lot you can do with this. It's a very good tool. I recommend you check it out if you haven't. Um, so these are just some great, great programs. Um, that I use a lot every day in teaching and now maybe you'll go out and start to use some of them. Uh, if you know any other great tools for math teachers, feel free to share them. Um, you know, Geometer Sketchpad's another great thing to use. I haven't used that one in a few years. Um, but if you know any other programs, you know, that you think I might find useful or that you think people should know about, leave a comment below. I'd love to check it out and see it and I appreciate all the feedback. So. Thanks for watching guys and feel free to subscribe our channel if you have any other questions or comments, leave them below.